Hey guys, welcome back to yet again another video of mine. You're watching a minute here on Tour Beauty. So it's been a very hot, hot, hot minute since I last uploaded a video for you guys, just because life has me um, just busy. So being a mama of um, two little bears, um, I have just never been able to find time to make some videos. And vlogging, well, I just really want to spend time with the kids rather than having a camera in their face all the time. But I am here with another video for you guys and hopefully an exciting one. So a lot of you guys have been saying to me over on my Instagram, here on my YouTube and on my Snapchat when I used to use it, but you guys really wanted to have me do a review and a tutorial with the Dyson. Now I have been a little bit more active on my Instagram, which I will link over here. So if you guys want to check that out, do check out all of the goodness on there. But I have been more active over on that platform and I have done a couple of tutorials. I think a couple couple of my stories, stories, a couple of my stories and I've also done I think a couple of IGTVs but I wanted to come on this platform and do a kind of a detailed tutorial um, a little bit longer than a minute, a minute and a half than I do have on my Instagram. So I wanted to just show you guys what I do and how I style my sleek hair because this is the hair I think a lot of you guys want to know. Um, a lot of you guys want to know how I straighten it, how it becomes so straight. Um, the biggest thing I will say is my hair is very naturally straight. So I think when I am using the Dyson, and I do use a straightener as well, I think it really moulds into the sleek look um, just because of the quality of hair and the type of hair I have. But um, again, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys how I do this. Trying to keep my introduction short, but don't forget if you guys are liking my hair um, as you guys are seeing it and my makeup, then please do subscribe to my YouTube channel down below. Hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't um, hit the notification bell, then do do that as well. So every time I upload a new video, which has been forever this time, um, which I will try and get out for you guys more, but um, do hit on that. And when I do upload my next video, you guys will be made aware. But that is it from me for now and um, get into the video and hope you guys enjoy. So let's get started guys. As you guys can see my hair is full on wet. A little bit is actually still dripping. Um, as soon as I got out of the shower I literally just put it into a hairband just because I wanted it to be really like it, I wanted it to be wet just so I can show you guys how effective um, the Dyson is and how I basically do my hair kind of um, from the moment I come out of the shower. So like I've already mentioned, I will be using the Dyson for the first step and then I'll just go in with my straightener just to kind of um, just straighten the rest of it out. So the Dyson which I am using is the Dyson Airwrap. This is the complete Dyson Airwrap. So I'm gonna be very truthful to you guys. My hair is very, very, very silky. So the Dyson on my silky hair is was a little bit of a poop. Um, basically, it just wasn't that effective. Um, none of the curls would stay in my hair. Like I said, my hair is really silky. So with silky hair, basically, it means your hair can mold into anything. Well, mine did anyways. So if I curl my hair, I could mold it into curls. If I straighten it, I could straighten it. But literally, when I mean it molds so quick, if I'm to, you know, brush my hands through my hair, those curls will come out. And during the course of the day as well, I felt like using the Dyson, um, using the curling barrels for this, um, my curls just never really lasted. So you really need to use this. I would really recommend to go to a Dyson store if you have one nearby or a store which are showing you about this and then you can really know how this is against your hair because getting the complete edition I felt at first when I did buy this was a waste. I made no video about it. I was probably depressed at the fact that I even bought it, I'll be honest. Here on YouTube, there are so many mixed reviews about the Dyson as well, um, but um, everything changed for me with this um, only when I cut my hair. So my hair was like this before, and then obviously after I cut my hair, my hair became like this. So my hair's obviously taken a drastic change, which meant that I've started using the Dyson even more. So why have I started using the Dyson now and why didn't I use it before? So the first thing is that um, this one here is the straightening tool. 
and this was too long to straighten my long hair so to brush this through my long hair it just took forever and I just could not deal with how long it was taking me um, but since I've got shorter hair I just find this is quicker and it just dries my hair a lot quicker as well and then again with the curling barrels I just feel like because I've got short hair it's just really quick and easy to do and it just leaves my hair in more of a, like a wavy look so like I said my review is very mixed um, I love it with my short hair with my long hair I just to totally thought that it was a waste of money I very rarely use the other barrel that this comes with um, which is the hair drying barrel um, I very rarely use that. I always use these ones so they have a soft one and then they have a hard one so I always just use these and then obviously like I said I use the curling barrels so I would still buy the complete edition but if you want to buy the Dyson just for drying your hair don't bother um, a 20 pound 10 pound hair dryer um, works just as well I actually um, after I bought this Dyson as well when I wanted to hair dry my hair I would always just use my um, Remington hair dryer and like I said in my belief I think that was about 19.99 or is it a babyless one maybe but I purchased that off Amazon um, at Christmas for £20 and that's, you know, perfectly well. The only reason I like to use this to dry my hair is because it just two in one. So it combs my hair out, partially straightens it and dries it. So it's like a three in one. Rather than using a hair dryer, I'll just be left with a frizz pot um, rather than a straight and sleek look. Hence, I use this because it's a time saver. So especially with two kids, like I said, time saver. Um, but yeah, so let's get straight into it. I'm going to start doing my hair and showing you guys how I do my hair using it. I'm just going to take this um, clip over here. I just get this from Primark. It's um, just very money friendly, so cheap and just does the job. That's the main thing. And then I'm just going to take my thumb and take my hair just above my ear. And I'm just going to take this and then literally just turn it around. And then I'm just going to use this and tie up this hair. And if your hair is really thick and it won't hold with justice, you can use two or by all means just use a rubber band. And then obviously that can just hold your hair. But then as you guys can see, I have just got this little bit of hair over here and this at the back. So I'm gonna start with the Dyson and start working through this hair first. see all of this has dried really really well it's literally it's dry so this is what I love about this so far is because the heat um, it's not really intense like a hair straightener so the um, heat doesn't really hurt your scalp I know I think in some reviews people did say that the heat does hurt their scalp um, so far I haven't found that yes with the barrels the curling barrels I have found that but with this I don't really you know think that much but this is what I love I just feel like with this and with this kind of hard soft um, brush I just feel like these really really get to the core and get to the root of your hair and dry the root I almost used to find with thick hair Hair with a hairdryer sometimes you can't get the heat right to the roots and you have a very kind of um, damp slash dry blower um, part of your hair where there is um, whereas the scalp I felt like was always um, really damp and really really wet still so yes this is the bottom bit um, done so I'm just gonna carry on through the rest of my hair and then I'll show you guys the final look dried all of my hair 
I'm just going to finish this off with a straightener um, just because this is lovely but I still feel like it's a little bit frizzy so I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to tie it up with this clip straighten the bottom, um, let some hair down in partitions and then I'm just going to run the straightener through my hair straightened I am going to go ahead and use this argan oil this is by a company called Ahask uh, Hask Hask however you say this but you can buy this from pretty much um, most stores so I get this from um, Tesco's I think you can always pick this up from super drugs as well Wilkinson's maybe but I know a lot of the supermarkets have this you can just use this whenever on dry hair wet hair um, I always prefer to use this kind of after I've done everything so I'm just going to apply some of this onto my hair and there we go guys this is the final look um, I hope you guys love the way this turned out um, I absolutely love um, just how quick and easy this is to do it's literally just dry your hair um, run a straightener through and then you're literally ready to go and like I said to you guys with two kids I don't have time to be doing a lot with my hair so rather than drying my hair separately and then having to smooth it out comb it out make it less frizzy spend more time on straightening it I always just find using this with the Dyson just is really quick and easy like I mentioned to you guys my review and my opinion on the Dyson is 50-50 like I said I absolutely regretted buying this when I had my long hair but with my short hair I'm absolutely in love with it so I have got a very kind of mixed review about it but this is how I styled my very sleek hair hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget if you haven't already subscribed to my channel then do hit the subscribe button down below also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so every time I upload a new video you guys are made aware also do check out my instagram which is linked down below and over here and do check out all the goodness on there as well um but that is going to be it and i shall hopefully see every single one of you in my next one bye guys Thank you.